Hello, hello. Let's play. Let's wrench you, wrench you. Listen, listen. Uh, let me just lower the the audio real fast here. Now, there's this legendary post on Reddit that I want to talk about. Um, that I've, I've been uh, going back to plenty of times in my life. It's quite an old post. It's on the subreddit uh, Get Disciplined. And it's a guy who made a post about him essentially as being in his lowest of lows, you know. I'm sure people can relate. And uh, it was it's like it's a huge post. And then uh, there's a response here. Which uh, sort of like birthed uh, he's no way the creator of this idea, but he really conveyed it in a modern sense. It's essentially the idea of uh, no more zero days. Um, it's a bit loud. I can't even think to myself. And I've been reading this. Essentially, the idea is that no day should go by where you don't at least take a step towards your dreams now it could be like a a micro step like a like let's say your dream is to become ripped or whatever then just doing one push up is uh, making that day a non zero day so it's a man his username is Ryan S01 and has 11k upvotes and it goes in quite a detail. Now he does talk very casual, like almost as if he's your, your Ibo. He's your friend. Oh my god. And um which can rub pe rub people the wrong way. It feels like very I don't want to say artificial, but it feels a bit I don't know. I I, I don't want to uh, talk bad about this guy because he's obviously done great work towards helping this guy but it got me to thinking uh, because you get very inspired reading this right you're like yeah hell yeah brother i'm gonna change everything in my life it's gonna go great <laughs> no more no more zero days hello fellow no more zero days i'm on the grind uh but upon self-reflection because this is a seven-year-old post, right? So I read this when I was, uh, like, a teenager at first. <laughs> well, may maybe not that long ago. I don't remember. But it's a very... Very well-circulated idea. And... Uh, it got me thinking, because, you know, you can see you can sit all day reading these, like, inspirational posts about self-motivation, discipline, or whatever. And you can you can almost get addicted to it. You can ad get addicted to feeling this like rush of like inspiration. And you just sit all day eating that feeling up. But you're not doing anything. You're just reading these posts. I, I catch myself doing that plenty of times. Trust me. <laughs> Believe me. I, I love this stuff. But... It's it's a pitfall in and of itself, right? Because like you're not accomplishing anything by reading that you should do like a no zero day. If you don't just, I feel like people who most people look up to, right? And like, oh, he's an accomplished person. I refuse to believe that they've even read any of this shit. They haven't sat down and like read these posts about self-improvement. You know, of course I'm speaking out of my ass right now, but I feel like there's a 
a, a great difference between the people you admire and how much they read this shit on the internet and the 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 opposite of the people who want to become great and consume a lot of this stuff uh you're sitting reading like oh how to get better like you know self-improvement essentially uh now there's definitely books that i think are uh that, that, that are actually concrete like habit makers and I, I i will i'm willing to separate that from uh just these random posts on reddit about oh just it, it boils down to oh just do it <laughs> oh you want to dream just do it it's essentially what it means but this guy's point is that even just doing like a very minuscule step is still an accomplishment um because th there's books like the seven habits right the seven habits and the how to make friends those like legendary books that has been around for like 50 years what is that book called how to make friends how to make friends and influence people and the seven habits of highly effective people is the name of the books i, I believe those are good books right um and I, I don't think those are the same as reading reddit because they actually show like techniques and it, they're also proven concepts uh anyway the feeling i want to get across is that uh it's easy to get to spend more time reading about inspirational stuff than actually, you know, <laughs> working towards your goal. Um, mm, and even like when you want to learn, uh, let's say you want to learn, I don't know, the violin. My philosophy is that, like, of course, just start it, <laughs> but don't tell people that you're going to learn the violin before you even start. Like, maybe, like, a few weeks in, you could tell. Because it feels good to tell people that you're going to, like, many people consider learning the violin as something great, right? Like, it's a, a good thing. And um, let's say you haven't even started learning the violin and you tell people, I'm going to start the violin and you get this positive affirmation. You get the dopamines firing in your head and you feel good. But you didn't even do anything. You haven't done anything. Why are you feeling good? And I, I believe it's very common you know i've fallen into this pitfall plenty of times which is why i feel like talking about it really it's that saying that like that you're gonna do something feels good like, yeah oh I'm, I'm making strides to becoming a better person but you haven't done shit you just told people that you're gonna learn it i believe it's far smarter and just doesn't put because when you've told someone that you're going to learn it, you've set yourself up for failure. If no one knows about it, how the hell are you going to... No one knows about it. No one's going to fail. It's going to be a heck of a lot more impressive if you're able to come out of the woodworks knowing the violin, even just the basics. Like, if you spend two weeks learning it and show people, like, hey, I know the very basics of the violin, that's much better. Um... I, uh, so that's, you know, that's a philosophy I've acquired fairly recently, and I've stopped telling people, say, I want to learn this and that before I've started. It's only after I've started that I feel comfortable talking about making like a new project or acquiring some new skill in like whatever right just to avoid 
the the potential loop of just saying shit that you're gonna learn and never even actually doing it because it builds this unnecessary pressure and I believe that's what you should avoid uh, as much as possible really in your life oh god Because, you know, you know, going back to the initial Reddit post about this guy uh, talking about the no more zero days technique. I've read this maybe once a year for the past five years, right? And now, and looking back the past five years of my life, I'm like, I did not, I did not follow this. I did not really accomplish as much as I wanted. Not even close, to be honest with you. And um, uh, which in the end just made it useless. Learn reading this didn't help me. It just felt good at the time, being like, "Yeah, hell yeah, brother, this is inspirational," and I didn't do it. it didn't help me. I'm like mad at myself. I'm getting like, <laughs> I'm getting like mad sitting here thinking about it. <laughs> God damn it! Why are you so goddamn useless? God, just fucking do the work. You don't need this shitty Reddit. Sh God, Reddit's fucking garbage anyway. They went to shit way back when. Why am I even on this website? Fuck, that's not Tajikistan. <laughs> Fuck! God, it's making me. I'm choking on my own rage here. Also, one thing I've... <laughs> Apparently it's very... The walls in this house is very thin. I believe my neighbors can hear me. Which is a bit spooky, I have to say. <laughs> was, um, my friend had told me that he can, he can hear... He can hear me pretty clearly in my room, even though he's not in the room. So, I'm afraid people are like listening on me right now, and I don't want to get too loud. Shit, Solomon Islands, where is that? It's over, it's over there. Should I have some sort of conclusion to my thoughts here? Yeah. More doing, less inspirational reading. <laughs> Am I doing an inspirational speech? Am I just being like all the other guys now? Hmm. I see how easily this happens. Costa Rica. I don't know. Is it this country? Yes. Guatemala. Because when I look back on it, I didn't follow this. And I remember thinking that I would be like, yeah, this is the day I change. This is the last day I'm going to be a, a pitiful human being. I'm going to achieve greatness. And that's like 20-year-old me saying this. <laughs> After reading this shit on the internet. <laughs> no. It's not that simple. Usually your struggles and like motivational issues are a bit more deeply rooted than that. And what the answer is to solve that, I honestly don't know. If I knew, I wouldn't be here, no, would I? What am I, the demo man? Why did I say it like that? <laughs> A pinch of potassium chloride. An errant twitch and kablooey. Oh, I missed that game. Ninety-one percent. This is the first time I've been doing worse, right? I think it's because I'm really focusing on this Reddit post more than anything. Maybe I should switch game. I mean, my my initial idea was that this game is very like mindless, right? 
but it's not as mindless as I would want it to be. Like, it still, you know, activates my, my brain enough for me to halt my thoughts, right? <laughs> maybe I should, uh, maybe I should, maybe I should create... Ooh, wouldn't that be interesting? Creating a... Creating a, a script, solving this for me? Can I mimic myself? Oh man, I just inspired myself, dude. I talked in, myself into inspiration. That would be sick. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I should probably switch map to something simpler. Cause this is taking too long. I'm not gonna talk for like 15 minutes. I'm really just finished talking after five minutes to be perfectly honest with you. Where is this concept so shittily, well, so shitty? You might ask. Oh, I don't know. Cause I created on a goddamn whim. Do you think I have plans? You think I'm script this stuff <laughs> you think i actually know what i'm doing what are you crazy poker anyone uh well matane jisu jisu